guys, so this would be week, week 12? Probably week 12, what is in here? Are those, oh no, that's condensation, sorry. <laughs> I saw a battery pack, I thought it was full of little chain link things, but no. Guys, look at how pretty this weather is. We haven't had weather this nice in a minute, so. <sighs> I love it, I love it. All right, so um, generally things are going okay. Um, I was sick last week, and after four years, today I learned that if I want my sick days, my sick pay at work, I have to manually let the paralegal who's um, doing the payroll know. Otherwise, I just miss the time. And immediately after she told me that, I asked her to count um, Tuesday. I emailed her, asked her to count Tuesday, um, you know, for sick pay because I was sick that day. I'm hearing the sound of bottles. Oh. Oh, someone's taking out recycling over there. That's pretty cool. Okay. So... Yeah, four years and nobody had told me that, or if they did tell me, I had forgotten about it. Um, yeah, my boss doesn't automatically give you sick pay when you're sick, so that's a little strange. Um, sciatic pain has definitely reduced since I started sleeping with a memory foam pillow, like under my back and under my side. Um, and then one, uh, you know, between my legs because one of my mom friends told me, <laughs> um, to do that. So it's definitely decreased. I'm still getting it a little bit. Um, other than that, oh yes, and taking a lot of bathroom breaks at work, which I got called out on during my performance review. But unfortunately, it's not really something that I can help. You know, it's like, the nerves will tell me you have to go and you have to go now. And there's just not anything that I can really do about that, unfortunately. Um, food sensitivity has decreased, like, dramatically. I can pretty much, you know... <laughs> eat almost anything that I want. I just had a couple of 7-Eleven taquitos, which I wouldn't have been able to do in November. <laughs> so that's good. Still don't like chicken. Because I went through a few years where I did like chicken, and now I don't again. So that's a little strange. Anyway, um, that's like the update portion of this. Uh, Non-baby related I had this computer, <laughs> I had had it since 2007, December of 2007, and it was a, <clears throat> it was an HP entertainment notebook, and I loved it, it did a lot of things very, very well. Unfortunately, the uh, processor is out, the battery is out, and... Um, everything is outdated, so I would need to replace the processor, the battery, the operating system, and the touchpad, because one of the buttons on the touchpad went out. And that's too much expense, so I decided to cut my losses with that computer. Um, I, I did get another one last year. I got it online for, I think, about a hundred bucks. And it's a Dell Latitude. <clears throat> it's second hand, so this part was a little confusing to me. Um, there's a webcam installed, but I have no drivers. So I would need an external webcam and to download drivers for that software from somewhere. So I'm going to have to talk to um, my friend's spouse who works in computers about that <laughs> um, 
yeah, I'm not that savvy. So I spent a few hours yesterday trying to um, resolve that issue. But I think my temper is getting better when it comes to computer-related stuff because, like, instead of getting mad, I just, like, was able to laugh everything off, like, <laughs> okay, that, that really didn't work. Let's, let's see what's next here. So, that's good. Uh, one of my friends, Colin, mentioned that it sounded like my hormones had done, like, a factory reboot, since this is the sanest and most mentally healthy I've been since I was six. Like, I get mad about things that, you know, people get mad about, but there's not a lot of lingering trauma, unless you count the lack of sex drive. <laughs> but, of course, I also didn't have a sex drive when I was six. Um, so, you know, thankfully. <laughs> so... You know, maybe, maybe that's true. And maybe this is a good thing because maybe I hope it lasts because it means I'll be able to be a lot more patient than normal. Uh, my dad, unfortunately, has decided to make this about him. He's like, oh, if your baby's screaming, you better quiet it down real quick or I'm going to tell you to make sure it shuts up. And I'm like, well... I'm a first-time parent. I don't know anything about this. You know, if it bothers you so much, you just go outside or something, you know? It really bothers me, you know, um, when people try to make my situation about them because, yeah, he's living in the house, he has to hear it, but he doesn't really have to, you know, deal with it, you know what I'm saying? Um, he doesn't really have to be involved if he doesn't find another place to live because he was wanting to move out and stuff. It's like, and, and he's like, well, I don't want to deal with it because I'm not the one that decided to get, neither did I. I did not have any choice in the matter. Let me just, I did not. <laughs> okay, so we can just like debunk that right now. I'm definitely still bothered by the selfishness of some people. Like, again, the whole wanting to make my situation about them and the whole, you know, what about how this affects me? Well, how about, how about, how, I'm sorry, <laughs> I can't talk. How about how it affects me? Okay. There's a couple of choppers up there, so noise. Um, how about how it affects me? Because I'm the one that's going to have to incubate and somehow make a um, small person come out of my body, okay? I think that affects me a whole lot more than it affects literally everybody else <laughs> in this situation, okay? Um, I feel like there should be an actual law, um, like a civil law, about not stressing out or causing emotional damage to pregnant women and new mothers. I know that sounds like mommy entitlement, but here's the thing is, it affects the development of baby. And it's just, it's just bad precedent. So I wish that I could just, anytime that somebody feels like getting dramatic with me, just sue for damages. I would love to be able to do that. <laughs> anyway, I wanna emphasize generally, other than you know, that things are actually going pretty well. It's just that, you know, negative things tend to stick with us for longer and be more at the forefront of our minds. But, yeah, just like tiny rant here, um, just tiny nitpick. There's one thing that really bothers me that I see people doing with babies is they'll project something onto them that, you know, puts a lot of pressure on the child, like saying, oh yeah, you could tell they're an old soul, or you could tell that they're gonna grow up to be like an evil overlord, and, you know, or something like that. It's like, it's a baby. Could you please just let it be a baby? <laughs> you know, just, it bothers me, especially since I've known of some kind of tippy like wannabe Earth Mother times that are like, have said to their kids, you're such an old soul, why are you acting like this? Well, 
your child is literally a child, so that might be a reason. <laughs> um, you know, not to be, not to be judgmental Judy here, but actually, no, yes, I totally am. Um, and, hmm, I'm vaguely apologetic about it because I don't like making people feel bad unless they've really earned my ire. But on the other hand, eh, I don't really want to take back what I said. Alright, so that is my update for this week. I will see you guys hopefully next week. Cheers.